Atlanta is one controversial city. It made it on our list of the best cities for African Americans and we got a lot of comments about the city not being all it's cracked up to be. There were complaints of heavy traffic, a horrible dating scene, and an ever rising housing market. So we had an idea. Why don't we look into some of the worst neighborhoods in Atlanta and try and figure out what the problem is. According to roadsnacks.net, these 10 are the worst neighborhoods in Atlanta. This list was put together using data that shows high unemployment, low median income, low home values, and of course, high crime rates in the city. Hi, my name is Jared and welcome to Black Excellence where we share interesting things in black culture and society in every episode. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified when we release new videos. If you live in Atlanta, let us know in the comments about how accurate this list is. We will start with number 10 and go down to the worst neighborhood in Atlanta. Number 10, Cascade Heights located in Southwest Atlanta. Located in Southwest Atlanta, Cascade Heights' low median income of about $36,000 has landed it on the list of one of the worst neighborhoods in Atlanta. Add the fact that the unemployment rate hovers around 10% and the public schools are on the weaker side, you definitely find a struggling area. The median home value in Cascade Heights is around $82,000. At number 9 we have Sandtown in Southeastern Atlanta. With a population of almost 16,000 residents, Sandtown is the ninth worst neighborhood in Atlanta. That's due to the unemployment rate of around 11% and the low median income of $36,000. Residents in Sandtown have a 1 in 38 chance of being a victim of a crime, which is 14% higher than the US average. According to Area Vibes, this neighborhood gets a D score on crime, F on unemployment, and another F on schools. At number 8 we have Oakland City. Oakland City has a similar unemployment rate as Sandtown, but a much lower median income of $26,100 makes it an even worse place to live. Niche.com has given this neighborhood an overall rating of C-, with crime and safety, housing, and public schools getting the worst rating. Coming in at number 7 we have Center Hill. Located in the western part of Atlanta, Center Hill is home to a lot of retirees. One good thing about this neighborhood is that it is affordable like all the other neighborhoods on this list. But that comes at a price of being an area low in employment and high in crime. The median income here hovers just below $29,000 and around 57% of the residents here rent their homes. Number 6, we have Mechanicsville. Mechanicsville is a neighborhood that's very close to downtown Atlanta. So you would think that means that this area attracts a lot of high earners who want to live close to downtown. But that's not the case here. Mechanicsville has the worst median income on the list at $18,460 and one of the worst property values. The unemployment rate hovers around 11.5%. Niche.com gives Mechanicsville an overall rating of a C. But there is something in this neighborhood that gets an A and that's the nightlife. At number 5 we have Adams Park. Adams Park has few things going for it like diversity, decent home value, and the fact that more residents are homeowners than renters. However, high unemployment rates and terrible public schools have landed it at the number 5 spot on the list of the worst neighborhoods in Atlanta. Crime and safety, nightlife, and public schools all get a C in Adams Park, according to Niche.com. Number 4 we have Lakewood Heights. Around 60% of the residents in Lakewood Heights are renters, even with the neighborhood having one of the lowest home prices in Atlanta. The unemployment rate here is at 10.3% and the median income is just under $28,000 a year. According to Niche.com, Lakewood Heights gets a rating of C- when it comes to crime and safety, which means the crime rate is pretty high. What gets an even worse rating than crime and safety is housing in Lakewood Heights, which gets a rating of a D. At number 3 we have Adair Park. There is a section of Atlanta known as Adair Park 1 and Adair Park 2. As beautiful as this area is with plenty of outdoor space, there is a lot that makes Adair Park unattractive. 
For one, the unemployment rate is at 13%. Crime and safety, public schools, and housing in this neighborhood all get a C from niche.com. Coming in at number two, we have Adamsville. About 11,000 residents call Adamsville home, and over 60% of them are renters. The median home value here is around $75,000, while the median income sits at just $29,150. Only 10% of the residents in Adamsville have a bachelor's or master's degree, while 34% of the residents have less than a high school diploma. Crime and safety, public schools, and diversity all get a C from niche.com. And coming in at the number one spot, maybe the worst neighborhood in Atlanta, is Grove Park. Grove Park was developed by Dr. Edwin Wiley Grove in the 1920s. These days, Grove Park is known for the high unemployment rate, one of the worst property values in Atlanta, and the low median income of residents. Almost 60% of the residents in Grove Park are renters. Nightlife and diversity get good ratings from niche.com, but crime and safety, public schools, and housing all get ratings of C- or worse. There you have it. Those are the 10 worst neighborhoods in Atlanta according to roadsnacks.net. What do you think of this list? Let us know in the comments.